as a focal point for gender, minority issues, persons with disabilities. We have alongside ID for Africa tried throughout this year to ensure that different categories, people in the rural area of Africa, because Africa's population is predominantly rural in terms of percentage, because we are 60% rural in terms of population, ought to be involved in the whole identification scheme from birth. We have enclaved zones in Africa. We have inaccessible zones. We have, amongst others, 84 million persons in Africa who suffer from different types of disabilities. And these persons are human beings like you and I with fundamental human rights. Unfortunately, because some of them don't hear, some of them can't speak, some of them don't see, some of them suffer from motion issues, and because some of them come from rural zones who don't, who are not necessarily literate, who don't understand official languages, and who, because they're equally blind and so can read like you and I, they don't have access to all the information around identification, the importance of it, and then the gains behind identification in terms of the sustainable development goals. So we've got to work for them, speak for them, we've got to be the voice for them. No one should be left behind if you look at it, if we have to be honest. And so it's important, that's what we've been talking about this year. Last year we addressed it, and if you listen, Joseph Attic was the one, Dr. Joseph Attic was the one who, who reminded me, he said, Patience, no one should be left behind. We talk about these issues. ID for Africa has set the platform. We have 47 countries from Africa represented here. If we have 54 countries in general in Africa, and then we have 47 here, this is a huge platform. ID made sure we had even persons with disabilities present, and so they could take the information one on one. They gave this platform, we of different countries can go back and restitute what we've learned from here. And I did tell you, through the 16.9 target of the Sustainable Development Goals, we all have to be on board. So the different messages in terms of sensitization, in terms of the iconic communication we've seen around, they were all involved, from children to persons with disabilities, the kind of, uh, uh, of PowerPoints we presented with the images, it says it all, so everybody around had access to that.